Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was over at Nichols Paint and Fab for their open house, and although it seemed like half the world was there because that place was blowing up, I know there's a lot of people that just couldn't make it, so I want to make a video of a kind of walk through the shop in a facility, 35,000 square feet of just absolute awesomeness. I know y'all are going to like this. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Justin, what a beautiful facility, brother. I th this has got to be one of the nicest in the industry. Thank you. That means a lot. This has been in my head forever, and uh, to see it finally complete is emotional, uh, mind-blowing, uh, insane, and how the hell am I going to keep up with all this? I mean, this thing, how many square feet is this building? Uh, we're right around 40,000 square feet, plus 100 by 100 out back, which we're turning into upholstery in the dyno area. But yeah, it's a lot more than what we had, that's for sure. I think it's it's got to be one of the bigger facilities too, not just not because again the people that weren't there through this video you'll get some idea, but again stop by and see the shop. This is like you opened up a catalog and said this is the perfect custom shop. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, I mean, like I said, when you think about something for so long, and, and it's again it's one of those things where you're like, you know, this is never going to happen, but it's always fun to dream, and you know, you always hope that you'll you can be close to the top or on the top, whatever you're doing in life. To be able to set this up how we work, you know, the flow and where things go, where things are stored, how we manufacture stuff now. It's just so much thought and effort went into making this all happen, you know? Yeah, no. And, and tell people, I mean, because I mean, we don't just build custom hot rods here anymore. Tell people what we got going from the front door to the back. Uh, yeah, as soon as you walk in, we've got now... Uh, a full speed shop. Uh, we're doing truck accessories. Uh, we're doing uh, the stereo stuff. The yeah, just ordering whatever you need, and then we've got a full hobby shop right in the middle of the, the showroom. So we've got RC cars, trucks, planes, boats. I mean, everybody that loves cars loves RC stuff. Uh, that's doing really well. It's cheaper to fix when you break it. Um, you don't get hurt as bad. And you told me you got a 3D printer, you're going to make some uh, custom parts for the RC cars. Yeah, yeah, so that, that's the thing, too. That printer's been running since it's been hooked up. Uh, we're doing wheels, we're going to do, you know, make molds and vacuum form our own bodies. And there's just so many things going on. You know, we got our merch there. We got a big enough showroom with some cool lights to showcase some of our builds. And uh, I put Dad's willies that we built on season two of the show up there. Uh, it's in its new home, so it's kind of like the the stamp of, you know, thanks, Dad, and putting it up there, and it'll always be there as long as we're here. And then, uh, you know, when you move into the assembly side of things, we got the nice epoxy floors and a clean room, and, uh, you know, if we disassemble any engines or anything important, it's just going to stay clean and no, no grinder dust or no bodywork dust or anything like that in that room, and just final assembly is just there and nothing's going to get beat up you know lighting is good it stays clean so yeah the lighting is a big thing throughout the whole shop you know i wanted enough you know from the get-go to you know be able to do and see and not struggle at all because lighting be your worst enemy on everything upstairs isn't there some sweets or something upstairs yeah yeah so as far as the upstairs goes we got big storage room up there uh conference room i've got a uh a design room for when I go on a decent quiet, I'll go up there and, you know, sketch some stuff out, uh, like ideas or whatever. I'm uh, pretty big into cigars, and i got a cigar lounge up there, so I, I've already actually used it a couple times now that uh, we're going. A couple customers are into cigars as well, so we'll go up there when they pick their stuff up, have a cigar, and uh, maybe a glass of whiskey for them so they can open up that checkbook a little more, you know what I mean? Right, no, I think that, I think when you told me about that, it was another one of those brilliant ideas because you got vendors coming in, you're you're in Wasika, so it's not a metropolis. It's not like you can take them out to a nice restaurant or something like that. You can set it up to where, like you said, you can have a drink, you can have a cigar, you can sit in some comfortable chairs, you can talk about that, you get a client, same way. You no, know, I built a, a room for my son also. He's nine years old and... I'm, I'm hoping he's my retirement plan, you know, sure. <laughs> but uh, he's he's really into cars and uh, just loves all the stuff. So I'm trying to keep him interested and without pushing too hard, you know, if this is what he wants to do, awesome. If not, I'm going to support him in whatever he wants to do. Uh, but 
my fingers are crossed that he, he takes over this. I just, you know, he's like, I want to design cars. I want to do this. So he's always bringing me sketches, and he's he's up a drawer already. So uh, if he's into it, he's into it, you know. I didn't get up there because it wasn't quite finished when we did the open house, so I didn't want to show it. But yeah, that's part of the dream, right? <laughs> because that's Absolutely, the whole thing yeah, I can, yeah. that's everything I keep looking at when I was walking through this shop was, it is like a, again, like you opened up a catalog it, because you've got things that I didn't even know existed. The coolest is they have this sanding area over here to where you can pull these drapes around it and do all your sanding and it sucks all the dust and everything out and doesn't get through the rest of the shop. Exactly. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge deal there. So you can do all your heavy body work and sanding and uh, like you said, it just, it collects, it's a big dust collector. Um, and then you can do some primers on it too because it uses the same filters as the the paint booth so you, you, your stuff that you're going to end up sanding anyway you can you can shoot in there and keep the booth clean and empty and or if you're spraying something else you know just use use that one but now does it does it re, does it recycle that area air or is that sucking all your heating and cooling out so it does have a uh i don't know, I don't know what you call it but it does recirculate and pull outside air in so you're not pulling all your heat and your air out so okay. it's like the paint booth um it, has, it it brings outside air in, um, and it's got a heat furnace on it, so it'll you can set it whatever temperature you want, um, your fan speed, all that stuff. Uh, so you're not pulling any any shop air out through the booth. It's it's always you know outside air, clean air. In my opinion, it saves you on the utilities and being able to set the temperature. And you can even bake in this this booth too. So we want wider and longer. It's 16 wide by 40 foot long. So that's what you it can is. pull a pull the yeah you can pull a whole car apart and paint each piece in there um you know set it apart you know but anything else i need to know about this place i mean it, each section in the place is basically 100 by 100 uh so paint boot or paint room is 100 by 100 the fabrication is 100 by 100 the fabrication has all the tools you know we got our pull maxes our wheels our hammers i mean we got all that stuff we got for flat stuff shaping uh bending tubing uh we got the CNC table, just everything that we've needed over the years, we've got. You have all that noisy stuff in one room. Yeah, exactly. That was a problem before. You know, if I had to get on the phone, I wouldn't be able to do this right now if I was at the other shop because the hammer or the saw would be going and it's just so loud. And now I'm kind of up here and uh, a little bit quieter and it's good. Everything's yeah. working out great. It's definitely awesome. I know we're freaking blessed to be able to do this and it makes our job a lot easier and a lot more efficient. It was a huge step. You know what? You only live once, and there, there's a lot of people that are like, why would you do that? You're never going to you know, be able to enjoy that. You know, and I'm like, I, I'm trying to build something for, obviously, myself, but for the future also. You know, I, I would love to turn this over to Gage. You know, that's obviously the plan. If you ever have kids, you want to pass it on. But All right. um, it is what it is. I'm not going to stop doing what I love, and uh, I just I have the opportunity. And I did it, and it, it's a weird world right now. And I know everybody that's watching this knows that. And you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But you know what? Who cares? You know, just you're either going to make it or you're not. Right. You, know, you can't be afraid to just take a leap and say, the hold it, let's see what happens, you know. If I didn't do this, I'd, I'd be on a boat in the Keys somewhere, and all I'm going to do down there is drink margaritas and eat stuff that's not good for me, and I'm going to get fat again. Right. you got to run with it, and... I'm going to support you, brother. I'm going to be behind you to try to see if you we be as successful as you can be. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, I'm 100%. Anything I can do for y'all, I want to do and try to get this out. If people want to get in touch with you, follow you, what you do, what's the best way to do that? Just type our name in the search bar and you're going to find it. And uh, The website's just nicholspaintingfab.com. And, you know, check it all out. We try to keep it updated. Uh, it's really hard right now, but we're doing our best. And I know that you all do have shop tours. We don't want people coming by there all day, every day. You, do you have times, or how is the best way if somebody wanted to come by and tour the shop? What would be the best way to set something like that up? Yeah, I mean, call first. If you're coming from out of town, make sure we're here, not at a show. The showroom's always open. But if you're wanting a tour, uh, we would like to set that up prior, if possible. If not, just stop in, and we'll see what we can do. Right on. Anything else we need to know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Not that I can think of. No, again, brother, awesome, beautiful facility, and um, I couldn't be more proud to be your friend. Thanks, man. Same here. So there you go, a little tour around uh, the new facilities at Nichols Paint and Fab in Wasika, Illinois. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!
Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.